gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah, I just gotta go hard. Uh, I just gotta go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Yeah. I gotta admit it, I, uh, my alarm went off this morning, I just, I just wanted to keep fucking sleeping, dude. It was, but of course, for some reason, it was, like, I just couldn't fall asleep last night, so, I mean, obviously, that has something to do with it, but, yeah, got my ad routine done, I'm gonna keep warming up, I don't, I don't even want to say what exactly I'm gonna go for today I just I don't know I want to see how 405 feels before I make up my mind so yeah I'm gonna I just did like 20 reps or something with the bar it's crazy that 20 reps of just the bar and my, my legs are burning pretty good already probably do this again actually I've really on days like this where I'm just I don't know, it's not even, it's not even really that I'm tired, because I've been awake now for over an hour, you know, and I feel, you know, I feel pretty good, pretty ready to go, but it's just like, I guess it's the, uh, the whole motivation thing, yeah, I'm not as, not as motivated today to <laughs> get into these heavy squats, I mean, I got, I got to be upfront and honest, I'm just not, so, you know, on days like that, fuck it, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take, you know, a longer warm-up if I need it, you know, more warm-up sets if I need it, whatever, just to, until I feel like I'm, you know, ready to tackle that big weight, but uh, I'm going to do this one more time, and yeah, I mean, I probably won't start another video time uh, at least four or five so you know see you guys in a minute yeah, I don't know about you all but sometimes my music in the gym can be a little you know I guess not what you expect a little unconventional but actually even more the more TikToks I watch and, and Instagram reels, I think there's a lot more people like that than what you think. But uh, sometimes I just want to listen to music that, you know, kind of just makes me want to move. You know what I mean? Almost dance. So that way, you know, it gets me wanting to move this weight. It just gets me feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got under the influence right now by Chris Brown in my in my ears. And uh, <coughs> it's not... I wouldn't say it's getting me hyped up, it's just making me want to move, so hopefully that uh, translates pretty good to these sets today. I'll be honest, I felt a little heavier than last week, but... That doesn't always mean your sets, your working sets are going to be worse. It could just be that I'm not fully warmed up and ready yet. So I'll, uh, you know, go before 55 and kind of see. Alright, that wasn't wasn't horrible. I wouldn't say it was great either, but I think I'm about ready to uh, get that first set in. <coughs> I don't know why, but the past couple of weeks, I mean, it's not bad because I'm obviously still squatting pretty heavy weight and doing pretty good, but my hips hips have been a little 
there's been a little p sharp pain shoot through them when I come out of the bottom of the squat. And it's, uh, I've had hip problems for on and off for a while. So it's just something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. But yeah, I'm going to throw, fuck it, I'm going to throw 500 on there and see if we can't get a good set. God damn. That was a little tougher than last week. But still got seven. So again, I'll be honest, I wanted eight. But I said it before and I'll say it again. Not every week's gonna be a PR week. As much as I'd like them to be. It's uh just not gonna happen. I'll probably do a second set again today. I need to start upping my sets I do on squat. You know what? And if if I feel good enough, uh, I might even do a third set. Just drop some weight and really focus on, you know, a little bit higher rep. And uh, I think that'd be a good way to finish squats. And then go hit some machines. Ah, Ooh, that shit, that shit fucking hit, a little, almost a little too much, ah, Yeah, I'll say, I don't have it this week like I did last week. That was, which is understandable. Uh, last week was the first time I've done two sets of 500, and let alone two sets of 500 for that many reps. So it's just, at a certain point, it just kind of, you know, it takes a little more time to keep going up, you know, it's not going to happen every week, so, yeah, but I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with that, I'll be honest, that's really nothing about that second set felt, <laughs> felt good, but we got it done, so yeah, I think, uh, uh I want to do a third set, just lighter weight, obviously. Um, honestly, I'm thinking about going down to maybe even 315 uh, and just going pretty slow and making sure that I'm flexing the, the weight out of the bottom, which, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm doing it with this too, but I want to emphasize the flex and the squeeze even a little more and you know just I wouldn't say take my time but just you know a lot more control so 
And again, yeah, I mean, I had pretty good control of this weight, but, you know, when you lighten the weight as much as I'm about to, there's a, it's, a different, it's a different kind of control and, and squeeze and flex. You're not worried about the weight, you know, completely overwhelming you so you can, you can focus more on getting those good fucking good reps that, and then take that even a little beyond the breaking point and, uh, really get that good hypertrophy. So yeah, I'm not going to say much more. I'm going to just ship it down to 315 and we'll, uh, give it a good run. For this, I think I'm going to add some plates under my heels, bring them close and, uh, Get a little more emphasis on the quads. Don't really ask me why. It just, uh, I don't know, just kind of, it sounded good at this point. One more might have been possible, but I feel comfortable stopping there. That was definitely more than enough. Whew. All right. And my fat ass catch my breath for a second. And uh, I stripped the rest of these plates off and go do some machine work. That sounds really good right now. <laughs> Fuck these squats, man. Uh, they uh, they might have got the better of me just a little bit today. That's right, I'll be back next week. So I was sitting here thinking on that last set of 500, I definitely could have went for six. And it, it would have been 50-50 if I got it. But... I mean, at that point in the workout, you know, I'd already, I've been hitting PRs like four weeks in a row or something crazy. And today, I wasn't, it wasn't that I'm feeling bad. It's just I wasn't as, you know, into it. So, you know, I didn't really attack the weight with the same aggression or enthusiasm. You know, whatever word you want to use there. But, and I still hit seven on the first one. I, I matched my PR last week on a lesser day. So it's like, when I second set, it's like, I mean, is it really worth it to go for six? No. At that point, it's not really. I'm, I'll still get stronger. And that's why I kind of, I decided, I was like, I'll just, you know, and I was, I was thinking about doing it anyways, but that kind of verified, yeah, I'll just do a, a, a drop set and uh, focus on, getting a great pump on that third set and higher reps. And uh, that actually felt really fucking good. So, you know, you got to you gotta pick and choose what battles are worth fighting. You know what I mean? And I felt like that one, it just wasn't worth it. It, it wasn't. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to, you know, digress now for my, or, or lose progress. It's just, you know, not every week's going to be fucking <laughs> hitting a PR or, or just fucking, you know, feel like you're killing it. It's just not. So, yeah, I'm going to, I don't know, three, three or four sets here and call it. And then 
three or four sets of my leg extensions. And that'd probably be it for today, actually. I had me float around 10, 11. Great fucking first set. Do that two or three more times and I'll be sitting sitting pretty good. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I got hard out of nowhere, dude. That was way harder than the first set. <laughs> you ever just wonder why the fuck you do this shit to yourself? Every now and then that thought crosses my mind. But then I remember being big and fucking strong is way better than, uh, as Chris Bumstead would say, being a skinny bitch. So that thought quickly leaves my mind. And uh, I remember it's fucking worth it, man. But yeah, that set was was tougher. It was tougher, I'll say that. I'm, I'm going to try to do two more still. I want to have four sets here. Four leg extensions. Yeah, be pretty good, I think. That's going to be it, dude. I could have done way more. But honestly, for some reason, my back's getting really pumped up. It's actually, it's burning more than my hamstrings right now, which uh, that's definitely not ideal. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stop there at the leg curls. And uh, actually, I'll probably have to rest for some minutes here, let my back kind of calm down. And then I'll move on to uh, my leg extensions if it's open.
Oh, other than my fucking back being pretty pumped up still, I felt all right. What I'm doing, I think what I'm going to do today is do the first 10 to 12 reps with a, uh, almost a negative, uh, eccentric, fuck, I almost lost my train of thought, <laughs> a negative eccentric, eh, like two to three seconds, and then you go up pretty fast. Like I said, for the first 10 to 12, and then once I hit that mark, I'm just going to rep out as many as I can at pretty fast speed. So, yeah, if my back would calm down, this would be a lot fucking better. It's getting a little better, so I got three more here, and I think we'll call that pretty good, and we'll go see what the old chicken legs are looking like hopefully not like chicken legs Two more, man. Almost forgot about the eccentric here. I was about to start just fucking pumping this shit out. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Ugh. That is fucking it. Uh, I'm actually considering doing a quick superset to finish this. Uh, I just don't know if I want to record it or not. You know what? No, I'll, I'll try to set my camera up to where you guys can see it. If it turns out to look like shit, I won't even post it, but... I think I will do a quick superset.
Holy shit. I might fucking fall over here. You know what? I'm done there, dude. If I keep going, I think I'm just gonna start. It's just, it's not gonna be beneficial. There's no point. I got what I wanted there. I just felt like my hamstrings got a little, I don't know, those sets are kind of lackluster. So I wanted to get, get one last good pump of my hamstrings before I called it. And uh, that was definitely good enough. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a quick check on this on these bad boys. All right, this is gonna have to be pretty fucking quick. I uh, I got quite a bit of shit to do today, so let's just get a quick check and see. I'll be honest, man, I don't know if I can flex my legs all the way. They are they're hurting pretty good. Ain't looking too bad. What do I say? Could be worse, right? Fuck man, I wanna try to get some, some good lighting here. Yeah, I don't know. I think the best option is about right here. That is, dude, that's all I got today, man. This leg workout was actually really fucking good. Like, I don't know, man. My legs just feel, they feel fucking, like, super hard. And just full, man. Look, I even got a vein coming through right there again. Yeah, uh. That's gonna be it, man. Tomorrow's fucking chef day. So, I am super, super pumped about that. <sighs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of in a time crunch again. So, that's it, man. See you guys tomorrow.